listening to Unpause Your Life with Dr. Callie Estes and Master Coach Jenny Fontana, founders of the Life Coach Method. Each one of our uplifting and deep dive episodes is geared to help you tackle the things that hold you back from having the most magnificent life you deserve. Sit back, relax, and prepare to be coached. Without further ado, I would like to welcome my sister in crime, Jenny Fontana. Hello, glad to be here. Well, welcome. I don't think you've done this podcast with me yet, have you? I have not. You have I'm not. I'm very excited. Well, we are very excited to have you. So I want to tell our listeners, because we have a decent listener base, what we're doing and how we're shifting out of having people on as guests and doing more content. So this podcast is more about how to unpause your life, unpack your backpack, and get going to do what you want to do in life to be the best version of yourself. So Jenny is my sister. She's six years younger than me. Uh, she was always the pretty one. I was always not the pretty one. Stop. So I'm welcoming her on, and she can tell you a little bit more about herself mm -hmm. and what she's accomplished. So what's your claim to fame? Well, um, I popped out two kids, which I haven't done, which is why she's on here. She is a mom of two fabulous daughters, full-time yes. mom, full-time job. Tell us about you. So I have two daughters, uh, Ava and Sophia, happily married to my husband, Michael. Uh, we also have- Wait a minute, did you say happily married? Is that yeah. a thing? Is that a yeah. real, like, are we really happily, you're happily married? Almost for almost two decades. We just okay, celebrated wait, wait, wait. 15 years. So tell me, when your husband's breathing at night, do you just ever want to smother him with a pillow or is that just not a thing? We're recording, so that answer will be no. Oh, okay. So that's just me and 90% <laughs> of other women out there sometimes. All right. So you're happily married. You have two kids. Tell me more. And your furry nephew, Indy, our English my, bulldog, who you love. I love my furry nephew. Yes. So um, raising two girls uh, and working full time, I work for you and love that we are partnering to do all these different adventures. So I love doing that for the different uh, ventures and uh, adventures that we go on and that we have day in and day out. And I'm also a certified nutritional therapist. So, um, you know what? We have days that I am told to don't talk about food, and I have days that my family listens to me, and we are rocking the nutrition thing. But I have a private practice. I see clients. Um, I don't know. You are the person everybody wants in their back pocket, following them around, going, put down that Kit Kat. Did you, you know what I learned, listeners? She told me, this blew my mind, because I don't eat candy. I'm not a big candy person. I hate candy. I hate chocolate. But if I'm going to eat it at Halloween, I have to have a Kit Kat. So here I am with a damn Kit Kat bag. And I said to her, I had a Kit Kat. She goes, wait, you didn't just have a Kit Kat because there's no such thing as one little miniature Kit Kat. You had a couple. I said, OK, it's six. So six would be one sitting, you know, one sitting of six. And she said, well, let me tell you what's in the ingredients. And she basically told me there's what? Sugar. Besides that, the things that make up the chocolate, which is what? Well, <laughs> luckily, there is a lot of good natural things in good chocolates. But unfortunately, certain chocolate companies use a chemical that is also found in vomit. And that gives it that lovely, tangy taste. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I swore I'd never <laughs> eat another Kit Kat. And two hours later, I'm eating the Kit Kat, imagining vomit in my Kit Kat which clearly didn't stop me from eating the Kit Kat, but it was a unique experience because I'm thinking to myself, you know what? Everyone needs a Jenny in their back pocket. When we <laughs> navigate the refrigerator, you open the fridge and you're like, oh, I'll just have one piece of candy. 12 pieces later, you need someone to say, stop. Have time. No, they need to say, stop. What are you doing? Let's not eat the Kit Kat. Let's have what? A banana? 
an RX chocolate bar, a, a, like an RX protein bar that is completely natural and has a chocolate flavor to it. It's sweet from dates. It has a texture, a crunch. It's gorgeous. It's uh, a great candy or dessert substitute. And it's even packaged similar to, so you have the full experience, unwrapping, chewing, um, texture, flavor, everything. And if you follow me on the TikTok, as my mother calls it, go to TikTok, Dr. Kelly Estes, friend me on there. I think it's called friending. I don't know. That's Facebook. Um, but I talk about this all the time. It's emotional eating and physical craving. So the emotional piece is opening up the RX bar, listening to the, the rapper go, ch -ch 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 -ch, right? Biting into it just like you would the Kit Kat. It's the same experience with tactile and auditory and visual. So you have an olfactory. So you have to think of that as a full package. Now, I have five of those in there now, and I gave the rest of my Kit Kats to my stepson, who happily ate them all, even though I described the whole vomit. And he looks at me and goes, I eat hot dogs too. So <clears throat> we're gonna have that discussion on hot dogs and pink slime and McDonald's and all that. Which unfortunately, but as a nutritional therapist, a lot of my family and friends don't appreciate my unsolicited advice. <laughs> I like your unsolicited advice. I think our listeners will too, because it's lifestyle changes, which is basically unpausing your life. You know, everybody wants to lose 10 pounds, but nobody wants to put the Kit Kat down. Nobody wants to get on the treadmill, you know? And it's like, everybody wants to be successful. But they don't want to do the work behind it. Even look at our millennial and Gen Z friends, right? I don't want to work. I don't want to go to a job. I want to work from home. And I want to work on Wednesday from 12 to 1230 for half an hour. And I want to make $100,000 and I want to run the company or I don't want to do it at all. Right. You know, that's Gen Z. There's absolutely no concept of reality. And then you have us, you know, Gen X. And we're like, put your big girl panties on, put your hair in a ponytail and get going. You know, we're pulling 12 hour days. Look at you. You're working from home an eight, eight hour day running kids to soccer, running kids to lacrosse or hockey, or I don't know what, I can't keep up hockey. with those two. <laughs> hockey, mm -hmm. cooking dinner from scratch, by the way, listeners, this one cooks homemade pasta, homemade meatballs. I'm like, where do I buy meatballs pre-prepped and who delivers them? Completely different story. All and of that. And homemade costumes since it's Halloween. <laughs> See, yeah, it's like you're the uber mom. You're the mom on steroids. I mean, I want the mother listeners to understand she does it all. Cooking, cleaning, shopping, homemade costumes, running the kids, running an international company, does it all. I couldn't do it. But also does it, and we need to talk about the burnout, which will be in other episodes. <laughs> yes, we're going to talk about burnout, and we're going to talk about compassion fatigue. We're going to talk about expectation. We're going to talk about addiction, because a lot of moms have to take an Adderall to do what you're doing. Or a Xanax when the kids come home. I've heard your kids in the background. After 20 minutes, I'm like, my Lord, they're loud, right? Or every so, get together involves wine or drinking, things like that. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how to manage your life without having to be lit. People need to be lit, you know, just to get through the day. What is that like? What is it like to get up and have a full day and feel fulfilled without reaching for a Xanax or a Kratom or a ketamine or a mushroom? or an Adderall, or a cocaine, or a glass of wine, or a glass of beer. What does that look like? You know, how do you manage your life without all of these things? And we're going to be pumping out content. But also, and I promise you guys, I'm going to tell you this, what if you wanted to get your life straight and help other people do this? Work from home, make six figures like you and I are, seven figures, actually. We're going to teach you that. We're going to drop the life coach method. We're going to teach you how to help other people get their life unstuck, unpaused, and do what they want to do. To be the super mom, to be the super entrepreneur, that's me, to get on TV, to write a book, to do all these things without burning out. So we're going to talk about that. And that's coming up in our upcoming episodes. This one was just a quick one to introduce Jenny to the craziness of my podcast and get us going again uh, with the pandemic. We sort of shut down and I was busy pumping out two more companies and she was busy raising two kids and making costumes and <laughs> building furniture and uh, whatever else she was doing over there. So 
we're back in the saddle. Glad to have you. Glad to welcome Jenny Fontana on board and stay tuned for our next episode. Thank you for listening to Unpause Your Life with Dr. Callie Estes and Master Coach Jenny Fontana. Head over to www.thelifecoachmethod.com to learn more about coaching yourself and how to become a master coach.